welcome to my YouTube channel. In honor of the Barbie movie coming out this coming weekend, I thought I would make a top 10 list of my favorite childhood Barbies. And believe it or not, which if you've been on my channel for a while, you probably believe it. I actually still have most of them. So I thought it would be fun to go through, look at them in places where I could find commercials for them. We're going to watch the commercials for them. And then I want you guys to let me know what your favorite childhood Barbie was. So let's jump right in. Number 10 on my list are the X-Files Barbies. I was so into X-Files and let me not lie, I still love the X-Files. I probably watched the whole series every five or six years I give it a rewatch and I love these dolls. Now I think Barbie did a re-edition of X-Files. I didn't get those but these are the ones from my childhood. I want to say the year might have been 97, 98. I'm not sure of the exact year, but I was just such a huge X-Files fan. So I love these dolls. I love the attention to detail. I love the badges. Now my Scully's badge has fallen off, but my Mulder's badge is in place. Scully's badge is in my desk drawer just waiting for me to repair it and reattach it to her. But I just think they're so adorable. And Scully even has her little cross necklace that she's very famous for wearing in the show so i just think that was really cool the attention to detail and i just love these dolls because i i was such a huge fan of the show and it was just so cool to have because i was a doll collector even then so cool to have this crossover between barbies because i did have a lot of collector barbies and so it was exciting to have these Barbies done at a time when I was really, really collecting Barbies big time. So I was really excited to get them. Number nine on my list is Malibu Barbie. And you may be looking at this Barbie and thinking, Allison, there's no way that's from your childhood. Well, this was my mom's Barbie and I played with this Barbie a lot. So my mom had this Barbie when she was a kid. It of course came down to me and I played with it a lot as a kid. My cameraman just called her corn husk hair Barbie because her hair is a nightmare, but I love her. I took baths with this doll. I dress, dressed, redressed, played with this doll so much. I love this Barbie. I have so many fond memories of her. You can see that at some point in my childhood, because I haven't redressed her since then, I made her an outfit. So I took a sock. This is a sock and I made her like a bodysuit of sorts. You can see that there. And then I just put a pink skirt that I had on over it because I wanted her to be a little bit glamorous. So yeah, this was my ninth favorite Barbie, but I do have a commercial for her. So let's check that out. Malibu Barbie has her own beach towel and sunglasses and Malibu friends, all with that suntan skin that makes them look great wherever they go. Malibu Barbie, Francie, and Skipper, they're the sunset. Dolls and other costumes sold separately. So I think it's fun that I have a childhood Barbie that's not actually from my era, but that definitely makes my favorites list. Number eight on my list is Caboodles Barbie. This is Caboodles Barbie, and you can definitely tell she's from my childhood. She has been well loved and played with. I still have one of the little makeup bits that came with her. I'm not sure what's inside, if it's eyeshadow or lip balm. It looks maybe like eyeshadow. There's really no telling. I certainly wouldn't use it now, but I have a really fond memory of this doll, which is I had been really sick. I had strep throat. I was really sick for, it was around a week. And I got this doll as I was starting to recover from my strep throat and I opened her and she was just, I loved everything about her because I was just starting to get into makeup and that kind of stuff. I was at that age and I had a caboodles, I actually had a caboodles with makeup. And so it was just really cool to get the caboodles Barbie too, because again, I, I never stopped liking the dolls, even when I started liking makeup and the kind of things um, that, you know, kids start to grow out of their dolls and grow into more mature stuff. Not me, I just grew into the mature stuff, but also kept the dolls. So she was really fun and, and one of my favorites just because of the memories I have of her and I thought she was so pretty and she really is a mess. Like when I look at her, I should have cleaned her up before this, but I've been slowly cleaning up my childhood Barbie so that I can have them in a nice state. She just hasn't been cleaned up yet. So anyway, that is my number eight. 
Number seven on my list is Star Trek Barbie and Ken, another series that I really love, another set of dolls that I really love. And this is another one they did another edition of them not that long ago and I didn't get them. I should have. The Ken was more like a Spock. But I love these dolls because I love Star Trek and I was super pumped to get these when I was a kid. The cool thing about this set is you can still get it very readily on eBay and it's not very expensive. So, and the costumes are great and the props are great. I have a, um, a telecommuter, telecommuter, I have some other props that go with them, but here's one right here. And it's just so cool, like all the different props they came with. The background of the box was really cool. I ended up getting rid of the box, but the background of the box had the Enterprise in the background and it was just a really cool, presentation and I just love the dolls so much because of you know my attachment to both the series and the Barbies and I do like she's got I'm gonna say a classic Barbie face it's definitely not a classic Barbie face but from my era it's more of the classic Barbie face because this is you know it's just a, such a sweet pretty face that she has her little braids coming out that's the problem with these older dolls like that I haven't really haven't really done much with they've been on a shelf and but you know i just she's they're my favorites they're just two of my favorites in my collection number six on my list is ice capades barbie and in this episode of alice that never throws anything away i still have i went to see barbie on ice and i still have the program so my mom got me the program this was their 50th anniversary ice capades they had super mario brothers which i also loved and was obsessed with and they had Barbie so it was the exclusive world tour of Barbie and it was just a really cool thing I got a Mario pennant like a the hang up flag and I got Ice Capades Barbie now if you look at my Barbie a little too closely and Ken as well you will notice these are actually not the original dolls at some point in time I redressed other dolls to be wearing the Ice Capades outfits these are not the original dolls I can tell from the face paint and the jewelry but recently I say recently, in the last couple years, I got an Ice Capades Barbie in the box at my local flea market. And so I added her to my collection because she is one of my favorite Barbies of all time. And so I just thought it was really cool to have her in the box. So now that we're talking about her, let's watch her commercial. America's in two breathtaking Ice Capades Barbie. Only you, Ice Capades Barbie. Ribbons in her hair. Only Ice the Bates Barbie Sparkles everywhere A practice outfit too You're the star of the show Where's the Barbie? Ice Bates Barbie doll in leotard with a removable skirt Ken doll sold separately from Mattel so I just love this crossover. It's so much fun. I have such good memories of going to Ice Capades when I was a kid. That was one of my favorite things like that my parents ever took me to do. And again, you can see here on the back of the box, there's Ken, definitely a different face Ken. My Ken that's dressed in this is a little bit more modern and different Barbie, but it was just really fun to have them. I used to play Ice Capades with them all the time and just one of my all time favorite childhood Barbies. Number five on my list is Western Stampin' Tara Lynn. And before we talk about her, let's dive right in and watch her commercial. Who's got fancy fringes dressed in silvery blue? It's Western Stampin' Barbie with something magic too. Complete Stampies. Western Stampin' Barbie. Stampin' Shire too. Her new friend Tara Lynn Stampin' Stars all the way. And Ken's a cool cowboy purple horse and hey, hey. Western Stampin' Friends Stampin' Shire. Western Stamp and Barbie dolls have boots that stamp, ink pads, and glitter. Dolls and whores sold separately. Now, I love this Barbie. My grandma took me and my cousin to Walmart and let us pick out Barbies, and I was shocked and horrified that my cousin chose a Ken and I just she chose Western Stampin' Ken I was so upset I was like why would you choose a Ken because Ken after all is just an accessory to Barbie right I chose Tara Lynn I thought she was so pretty I love that Steffi face of course at the time I didn't know it was called a Steffi face I love her black hair you can see mine has definitely been well loved she's still got her cowboy hat earrings and I've still got her original skirt I have 
have lost her western stampin boots i've lost her top she's one i looked at actually replacing getting one mint in box she's a little bit more expensive in the box um to find her on ebay i think she's a little bit more desirable but I loved this doll. Me and my cousin had fun that afternoon at my grandma's stamping everything, all these papers and stuff with the boots because the boots had the little stampers. You saw them in the commercial that was stamped across. So we didn't get a Barbie. We didn't get the horse, but she got the Ken and I got the Tara Lynn and we played with those. And it's just a good memory for me. And also, I just think she's a beautiful Barbie. Mine has obviously seen way better days, but I just think she is gorgeous. One of the prettiest barbies or you know not barbie that came out during my childhood so western stamp and tara Lynn is number five on my list number four on my list is peaches and cream barbie now this one is not my original childhood one um and so let me talk about that i got the dress from another lot uh it, like i had a lot of doll clothes and it came in there and then i found this barbie this is actually not Peaches and Cream Barbie. I do have my original Peaches and Cream Barbie herself, but her hair has gotten a kind of like a sticky residue in it, so I need to clean it. Her jewelry is correct though, because Peaches and Cream Barbie came with this glamorous jewelry. This doll is actually, I can't remember what her name was, but she came with like a silver gown. I want to say she was Jewel something Barbie. But I dressed her in the Peaches and Cream outfit. Eventually, I'm going to clean up my original Peaches and Cream Barbie and put her in this outfit. But I didn't want to exclude her from this list because I love her so much. She is an iconic Barbie. Let's go ahead and watch her commercial so you can see what it would have been like to be a kid in the 80s and really want to have this doll. Here's new Peaches and Cream Barbie doll. Dave and I can doll so separately. Gorgeous. We girls can glow from head to toe. Bright Barbie. Peaches and Cream Barbie. Peaches and Cream Barbie doll comes with change around stole and everything you see here. Ken doll sold separately. New from Mattel. To this day, she's still one of the more expensive Barbies from the 80s. If you look for sold prices on auction sites, she generally sells for around $150 or so, which compared to some of the other dolls I buy is not that expensive, but she is a very desirable doll and she's gorgeous. Just look at the way, I just love how so many Barbie outfits in the 80s had, I don't even know what you call this, but this iridescent material on their gowns i just love it i think it's so so pretty and so she is she just gorgeous i would love to find one of these in the box to have to display with my one out of the box but one of these days i'll clean my original peaches and cream barbie up and put her in this outfit and put her on display but until then this lady is modeling that gown Number three on my list is Dream Time Barbie. Now she came out in 84. Now I was born in 82. So this is quite a story I'm going to tell you guys. Um, she, my grandparents came to visit us at our house. This is before my brother was born. So my brother was born in 86. So sometime in between there. And I remember this very vividly. I guess I knew that my grandparents probably always brought me a treat and so I went to look in their suitcase. My grandpa let me look in the suitcase and there was a Dreamtime Barbie there with her pink bear and I was so thrilled. This is the first Barbie that I ever remember getting ever in my life. So it was just, and this is her and I still have her. This is the correct Barbie. This is her gown. I don't think I have, I know I don't have her bear anymore. I had her overcoat for a re very long time, the sheer overcoat, but I just love her. And I love her because of that nostalgia and that, that memory that I have of just being so excited to get her um, being so young. Cause you know, when you're that age, you don't remember a lot of stuff, but I vividly remember my grandpa opening the suitcase and this doll being in there. And so that was just a really cool memory for me. Let's watch her commercial now. Here's Dreamtime Barbie and Bebe, her teddy bear. Barbie drew bed so separately, you put it together. We girls love getting ready for bed. Right, Barbie? Dreamtime Barbie and Bebe. We can have fun doing hair, putting a bow on a pink teddy bear. Love your ruffles all around and your matching gown. Here's a bear hat. We girls can dream everything. Right, Barbie? Dreamtime Barbie. 
Barbie doll and BB teddy bear come with everything you see here from Mattel. So you can see why this doll is so special to me. Just all the memories that I have with her and the fact that I actually still have her in decent condition. I mean, decent, right? It's not the best, but she's decent. And so that's just really cool that I'm able to have that. You can see though on her little hands, I think I, I think I might have uh, sunk some teeth into that hand at one point because I was, I was a little bit of a chewer. I did chew when I got those teeth in. So anyway, it's not something I'm proud of, but you know, I was three or four years old. So anyway, all right guys, let's move on to number two. Number two on my list is Totally Hair Barbie. And before we start talking about her, let's watch her commercial so that you guys can remember some of the cool stuff she came with. You've got the longest hair ever. Totally hot, totally cool, totally hair Barbie. Comb it out, add some dip, gel it, scrunch it, now you set. Make it fun, make Ooh. it now. Hair so long, it's totally wild. Oh, totally hair, totally hot, totally cool, totally hair Barbie. You've got something special. Hair Barbie doll has blonde or brunette hair down to her toes and comes with depth styling gel. Dolls each sold separately. This was the Barbie to have in the 90s and I just loved her so much. I still love her. You know, this, this is mine. You can see how very well loved she was. The coolest thing was having that depth gel and just pulling it out and putting it through her hair and doing all kinds of cool stuff with her. It was just so cool to me. And I, you can see, I mean, she's very well loved. Her dress is ripped up, but this was, I think still to this day is the best selling Barbie of all time. She was just so cool. She still is. You know, last year Hallmark came out with an ornament for her. That is how iconic this Barbie is. And I'm going to tell you something else. My friends over at Kitten Cat and all my plastic children are creating a collaboration that goes up for sale on this Thursday. They have this dress in smart doll sized and they have the earrings that go with it, the bright neon earrings. So I will link their information below. I'm definitely going to get in on that pre-order um, because I just think it's such an iconic look and it's going to be so cool to have that for my smart doll or whatever one third scale dolls you have. And they've really done a great job reproducing this dress and the earrings and so i'm really thrilled that they've done that it's it's very exciting very exciting time to be a doll collector and a barbie lover it is really an exciting time with the movie coming out and all the cool collaborations with different brands Whew, just a great time to be a doll collector but anyway she is number two on my list Number one on my list is Masquerade Ball Barbie. Now this is obviously not a Playline doll. This is a doll that I got. I had asked for the Bob Mackie Barbie every year since the first one came out, the gold one. She was in the Sears wish book every year and I asked for her every year. And every year, you know, this was an expensive doll. She was over $100 back then. And every year I was, it was too expensive and I was too young and so I never got her. And then the year that Masquerade, because I asked consistently every year for the Bob Mackie Barbie, um, my mom finally decided I was old enough to have her. She finally decided you're old enough to have her. I got her for Christmas that year and you can see I took very good care of her. I still have her to this day. I, I loved, love, love that she came scented with the Bob Mackie perfume. I just, everything about her was so exquisite to me because she was just such a collector's item and just a, a you know, something that I never thought that I would have as a child and then I got it and it was just incredible. And sometimes I still try to smell her to see if she still has a little bit of that Mackie perfume and she really doesn't like you can't smell it. Sometimes I'll think maybe I'm tricking myself into thinking that I can still smell it, but I just really loved the Bob Mackie series and I've been slowly as an adult going back and collecting the ones before her. Neptune Fantasy, if I had a Neptune Fantasy here, she would have been my favorite from my childhood because that was the one I was dying, dying to have, Neptune Fantasy Barbie. One of these days I am going to add her to my collection. I don't know why I'm taking my time doing it, but I have been. But she was just so special to me because I think this really marked a point in my life where it's like, 
you're a real collector now. Even though I was a kid, it was like you have a really coveted, highly collectible doll. So anyway, I adore her. My cameraman just called her Vulture Hat Barbie, by the way, with the black feathers coming out of her hat. So if you want to have a fun name for her Vulture Hat Barbie, there you go. But I love her so much and she's so special to me and she's not that expensive. None of these Mackie Barbies sell for what they were selling for back then. I mean, I think she might be 40 or 50 bucks on eBay. I adore her so much. So she is my number one favorite childhood Barbie because it just really, I just wanted her so bad. And, and it was when I finally, when I got her, it was just such a, I don't know. It was just amazing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my trip down memory lane and you enjoyed my top 10 favorites. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite childhood Barbie was. Let me know if you're going to see the movie. I am going to go see it. I am not sure if I'll be able to go on opening weekend. We have company coming, but I'm going to try to go on opening weekend and I'm going to try to make a little Barbie day out of it because I know Cold Stone has some Barbie ice cream and there's probably going to be some special Barbie popcorn containers and I may go see if there's anywhere doing like any Barbie combos for lunch. So I'm going to try to make a day of it and I will definitely record that um, and share that with you guys. So I'm really excited about it. Again, like I said earlier, it's a very exciting time to be a doll collector right now because I feel like we've just got so many cool things to look forward to and to do. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Shorna R, Stephanie W, Shalane C, Penny P, Louisa's Knitnacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!